Hello, my name is Lacey and welcome back to Late Night Coloring Mama. Tonight I am going to do a flip through in a book that some of you may have already seen, some of you may have not. Um, I don't think I've seen too many flip throughs on this one. I might have seen a few, but I've seen other others by Kirby Rosanis more than I think I've seen this one. I'm not sure if I've actually even seen this one on a flip through. Um, it is Geomorphia. Kirby Rosanis, an Extreme Coloring and Search Challenge. So this is my, I believe, second Kirby Rosanis book. Otherwise, I don't have the other ones. But I may have to purchase in the future. <laughs> I love the pages and the drawings in, in here. Like this page where you write your name, this book belongs to, that you can color it. And they are double sided, so. But the paper is nice and pretty thick. And there's objects that you can find in here. So here is the first page. This makes me think of Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter and that just makes me think of it. Wizards or witch, whatever you want to call that. Dragons, birds, castle, Oh, I'm sorry, it is not double-sided, it is single-sided. For some reason, I was thinking it was double-sided, but this is single-sided, even better. I was thinking of his other book that I have that is double-sided. My son would love this picture, the T-Rex skull, the little house, and the deer. When I color in this, I'll probably do each section of little stuff at a time. But I can already picture the colors. Look at those animals come out of the volcano. Do like maybe red, orange, black, and grays. This is interesting in the desert, the camels, and then at sea. I love that. Looks like some ships. This picture is really cool with the octopus. Looks like an island on its head. Parasailing, sailboats, and look at all the stuff underneath. This makes me think of that fish on Finding Nemo with the light on the head. Some hammerhead sharks, stingrays, scuba diver. That would be creepy coming up to something that big. <laughs> This is the front page of the coloring book, which I think is very cool. The polar bear with the killer whale. This makes me think of like a statue in stone. The polar bear is underwater. And seals, narwhal, jellyfish. Fun fact, my daughter was a narwhal for her first Halloween when she was a baby. And she hated it. <laughs> and 
Look at that tornado with like the horses in it. It'd be like black and gray. Maybe like even some silver. Oh yeah, that would be a very good picture to do. Very detailed. This is really pretty. I would like to see someone color this picture. If you have this book, have you colored this picture? The waterfall and the air balloons. Weather balloons. Airplanes. That's really cool. And the clouds. I mean, just look at all the detail, and I'm sure there's like little hidden creatures and things like a stegosaurus that you'll find. Oh, a cave with a city inside. Very interesting. Bats. That's really cool. Underwater. This makes me think of an aquarium. Look at all the seahorses. A little jellyfish too and a sea turtle. I would probably use quite a few colors in this one. Orange, blues, greens, maybe some purple for coral or pink. Look at this elephant. How long would a picture like this take you to color? This will probably take me a week or more. Depends what's all in the picture and how I'm coloring. That big wave with the bowl, like raging storm water. Some fish. There's octopus legs, I see. <clears throat> Cherry blossom trees I love and the lanterns. It's really pretty and the coral koi fish. Snail. And there's like an island on the snail. Someone's flying a kite on the top. Or close to the top. All the dinosaur bones underneath. I always wonder about that stuff, you know, what is underneath? How, are there dinosaur bones below us? Gems, eggs, shells. Very neat picture. I'm up on Earth, there's the deer and the owl and the birds. All the secrets are below. <laughs> oh, wow. Tons of jellyfish. I think these would look good in colored pencil. 
maybe some fine liner, but I think the fine liner would probably run out for me. Even gel pen. Look at that snake. So the mountains are volcanoes. So this is a book to step out of my comfort zone too because it's so detailed. But I think I'll enjoy it once I get started. Look at the giraffes. Flying birds. It's like above the clouds. How would you color these types of clouds? I don't know. I'll have to think about it. And then they tell you what you can find in the pictures, and there's the answers. So yeah, I have this one, Mythomorphia, and now Geomorphia. So hopefully I'll get some other ones in the future. But that is Geomorph Geomorphia by Kirby Rosanis. And that's all I have for you tonight. If you like this video, please consider giving it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I hope you all have a wonderful night and happy coloring. Bye.